Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and since 2003, we've actually been thinking of different ways of how we can actually help our clients maximize their usage of their software. So as we get closer to the implementation of e-invoice for all the companies, we'll be creating guides on how you can actually use your accounting software to simplify the whole process. Alright, so in today's video, we're actually going to be looking into how we can create a consolidated e-invoice in SQL accounting. So the first thing you will need to do is you need to come here to customer first. You need to maintain customer and let's say we need to create a customer called cash sales all right so because we are doing consolidated we need a customer called cash sales so we just need to double click it we need to ensure that the submission is under consolidated okay so all we just need to do is create a customer called cash sales and here we put here consolidated so the system will automatically consolidate for you the invoices all right so save done now let's create an invoice here, invoice, and we press new, and then we select our customer called cash sales. We'll be creating the invoice as per normal, so we can just select at the product. So example this item, and then we can put in what's the price, and we press here, save. Okay, so in the normal process, when I press my invoice here, I will be able to press submit or click at the button here. Alright, so for invoices that will require you to do a consolidated invoice, you need to come back to the browse screen here. Press my invoice again. Now you can see the consolidated e-invoice function is open up. So when I press consolidated e-invoice, click here. The system will then tell you whom or how many cash sales transactions you have and which customer is under the consolidated format. Alright. So you will also realize that this function called include unsubmitted e-invoice. This function you will tick only if you are still doing your relaxation period, alright? So they will consolidate all your invoices into a single e-invoice, alright? So press apply and then we press next and the system will create for you a consolidated e-invoice, okay? So once I'm done, I close this, I refresh, scroll down, you can see I have my consolidated invoice number CI number 12 okay all right so my customer also asks us how do we do if I use cash sales transaction instead okay we press cash sales same thing you just press new we select our customer called cash sales we do this process the same select the product and what's the price and then once we press save payment method that's okay and then we press browse again you run the process again, my invoice, and then press consolidated e invoice. Okay. Press next and then submit. Done. Validated. Press refresh. You can see it's now valid already. Okay. So the only thing that you have to take note of uh, is that what happens is you will need to consolidate your own e invoice for invoice side and you need to do another consolidated e invoice for your cash sales. Okay. So this is actually how we can actually create a consolidated e-invoice inside SQL accounting. Do leave in a comment below if you have any further guides you'd like us to create. Alright, thank you.